Hi everyone, welcome back to the Cocktail Vlog. I'm Steve the Bartender, and today we are making a Summer's Negroni. I stumbled across the Summer's Negroni on the Hobby Drink Chef's Instagram page. I'll leave a link to his Instagram so you can check it out in the description. It looked like a delicious, I, I, I used delicious as a descriptor way too many times, but it looked extremely tasty. So therefore I added it straight onto my list, uh, moved it to the top of my list actually. So this is a, a take on a Negroni, but obviously a, a summer variation. Um, and instead of being stirred over ice, it's shaken and strained over pebble, pebble ice. So uh, it's got a little touch of orange juice in there. So I'm gonna slice this up and make sure I keep a slice aside for the garnish. So the recipe only calls for 15 ml of orange juice. So just half an orange, give it a quick squeeze. And measure that. So 15 ml, half an ounce. And as I said, it's a shaking cocktail. So straight to the shaker. And classic Negroni ingredients. Well, at least the first two are anyway. Uh, so we've got a, a gin, which is a rare dry gin by Settlers, which is a South Australian gin. So 45 ml, 1.5 ounces. Of course you can use your preferred gin. And then Campari, 30 ml, one ounce. Add that straight into your cocktail shaker. And this is where it takes a slight slight turn. Uh, instead of a sweet vermouth, we're using a dry vermouth. So the recipe calls for a dry vermouth. I'm actually using a semi-dry vermouth by Causes and Cures, which uh, I stumbled across it on the shelves at my local bottle shop. Uh, and I was literally only reading about it in the vermouth cocktail book or the vermouth book not that long ago. So I thought I'd give it a try. Um, this is it's got wormwood, citrus, spices, uh, gentian. I, I personally think it's probably more gentian driven rather than wormwood. Uh, so it's got like a, a lingering bitterness that sort of hangs around quite a bit. Uh, so 15 ml, half an ounce. Uh, this is Australian by the way, so sorry for those in the States, you can't get a hold of it. Uh, and then the reason I'm assuming he used a dry vermouth is because I'm using a strawberry and rhubarb cordial. I actually made this recently in a video and I've shared that on Patreon. I'll leave a link to the to recipe in the description below. So this calls for 30 ml, one ounce of strawberry and rhubarb cordial. Campari is gonna have a nice color, but that redness as well, it's super vibrant and it's gonna make the cocktail look Delicious. So fill the shake with ice. And give it a good shake for 12 or 15 seconds. I'm using pebble ice today, it's off to the freezer. So I've noticed on Instagram a lot that people have been posting uh, drinks with pebble ice and the, the pebbles are like perfect little cubes, crystal clear. And I only discovered that these little ice trays with like 150 little cubes, this is what everyone's using. Um, so I only recently discovered it. I bought a few ice trays. You definitely need as many ice trays as you can get a hold of because it takes about two, maybe three trays to fill one drink. And it's actually a real pain in the ass to try and pull each ice cube out. So you really need to be organized and do multiple loads of ice in your freezer in order to have enough to make just a couple of drinks. But it's worth it. So three quarter fill your glass and strain over the top.
and then garnish with a slice of orange. Of course, I'll leave a link to the little pebble ice ice trays in the description below. So if you don't have any, you probably want to get something. Because you've got a ton of pebble ice in that glass, you'll probably need a straw to drink this one. So there you have a summer's Negroni. Cheers. I have really overloaded that with ice. It is a summer's Negroni. Um, you do have the influence, surprisingly, of the orange juice. There's there's quite a, a citrusy, prominent orange note to that, even though there's only 15 mil or half an ounce of juice added in. Uh, I was thinking that this was gonna overtake a little bit because it is really quite sweet. That is a delicious syrup in itself. The tartness of the rhubarb and the, the acidity of the strawberries and the sweetness work really well. That is a delicious syrup. So I kind of think that would be more prominent in this drink, whilst it isn't. You've got that bitterness from the wormwood, the gentian of the, the vermouth and the Campari. So this is a great, great twist on a Negroni, a easier sipper, Enzoni-esque kind of take on it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you soon for another cocktail video. Cheers.